assalamu alaikum students this is first part of my new lecture on persian literature to clear the context it is important for us to study persian history uh, persian philosophy and its culture to understand its literary ideology so in this lecture you will learn about persian language uh, its history and uh, persian philosophy persian culture and the link of art with culture if we talk about language and we can say that language is a representation of that country same is like the persian language is the representation of persia so persian language uh, like its civilization is the oldest branch of indo-european linguistic family and one of the indo-aryan language of indian subcontinent and it is said that this language has survived for 3 millennia 3000 years in old iranian language and uh, the literary form of new persian is known as farsi in iran and it is the official language also so new persian soon became the literary language again of central asian and west asian lands and uh, the native tongue uh, so persian extended the nature of islam from the religion of with prim uh, with primarily arabic origin to a more encompassing world religion the form of a persian language written since 9th century with a slightly extended form of arabic alphabets and many um, arabic loan words so um, persian language became the major literary instrument for many poems and religious works and here are some names who have contributed in the rebirth of persian language in its new form but also revived the persian culture for example firdosi uh, dakika rodaki um rodaki uh, who is known as adam of poets they are the pioneer they are the pioneer uh, who have contributed and uh, in not in, only in the language but in their civilization in their in their culture so um, they used pre islamic nationalism as a conduit to revive the language and customs of ancient iran Persian philosophy is very much influenced with a Persian religion. Um, Persian philosophy and religion are the two sides of the same coin. Persian philosophy is based on ancient Indo-Iranian roots. Its philosophical traditions and thoughts were very much influenced by the teachings of Prophet Zoroaster. Zoroastrianism is basically the old practiced religion that we will discuss in the next slide so um basically in this religion there is one lord wisdom that is known as ahura mazda ahura mazda is the creator and highest deity of zoroastrianism and uh, the literal meaning of ahura is lord and mazda is wisdom so uh, basically it is based on the concept of good and evil and a remarkable political and social changes occurred after muslim conquest and mongol invasion of persia so the, the uh, we can say that uh, the the concept or the religion of zoroaster uh, that is replaced by islamic philosophy so after the arab invasion of persia the philosophy is characterized by different interactions with the old iranian philosophy the greek philosophy and with the development of islamic philosophy this slide is the continuation of previous slide and in this slide again i am going to I share with you the pre-Islamic Persian literature. The first Persian Empire was the Achaemenid 
empire. Ecumenant empire is basically uh, in Urdu we can say that Kadim Iran ke firma rawaon ka rukn. And uh, it was ancient Iranian empire based in Western Asia and it was founded by Cyrus the Great and he was the first ecumenant Persian king. So, um, few literary works of ecumenant Iran uh, have survived due to the destruction of library of Persepolis. Persepolis was basically uh, the capital of Persia at that time and in the year 330 BCE, Alexander the Great conquered ecumenant Persian Empire. So he marched to Persian capital Persepolis and after looting its treasures, he burned the great palace and surroundings to the ground and uh, destroying um, uh, hundred of years worth of religious writings and and art of that time that made uh, Persepolis the jewel of the empire he destroyed and burned everything so most of what remains consists of the royal instructions of Achaemenid's king and uh, also the holy book of Zoroastrianism and uh, for your uh, memory, for uh, for your um, uh, for your update again, I'm repeating that Zoroastrianism is the old uh, practiced religion, and it was uh, based on the teachings of uh, Prophet Zoroaster. So many holy book of Zoroastrianism and many Zoroastrian writings were destroyed in Islamic conquest in Iran in 17th in sorry in 7th century and no single text devoted to literary criticism has survived from pre-Islamic Iran. Some of uh, the essays like uh, Ayane Nama Nabashtan and uh, that means that principles of writing book and Babe et Dale Ya and uh, you can say uh, different uh, the quoted some researchers that quoted um, Shubai as asserting that the pre-Islamic Iranians had book on eloquence such as Karwand and uh, again the issue is that there is no uh, remainings of uh, such work of or the such books This is the second part of Persian philosophy. As I have told you that before um, Islamic conquest or pre-Islamic conquest, the philosophy uh, was based on the teachings of Prophet Zoroaster, the old practiced religion. And uh, after the Muslim conquest and Mongol invasions, the the teachings of Zoroaster were replaced by Islamic philosophy and at that time there, there were two main philosophical traditions. The first one uh, was the Illumination School or the Illuminationism and that was founded by Shahabuddin Saharwardi in 12th century. While the other one is the Transcendent Philosophy that was uh, founded by Mullah Sadra in 17th century. So, uh, the Illumination School uh, was, uh, was the combination of Avicenna's philosophy and ancient Iranian philosophy. Avicenna uh, is uh, basically, we know him as Bu Ali Sina and uh, Bu Ali Sina is known in West as Avicenna. So, Illuminationism is basically the combination of Avicenna's philosophy and the ancient Iranian philosophy along with many new innovative ideas of Saharwardi. So it is oftenly described as having been influenced by Neoplatonism. So uh, if we see the second, uh, the transcendent philosophy, then uh, as I told you that this school of Islamic philosophy was founded by Mullah Sadra in 17th century 
and Mullah Sadra brought a new philosophical insight in dealing with the nature of reality and created a major transition from essentialism to existentialism in Islamic philosophy. So several centuries before this occurred in Western philosophy. So uh, these are the two main philosophical traditions at that time after the conquest of Muslims and the Mingal invasions in Persia. Students, as we have uh, read pre-Islamic literature, uh, pre-Islamic time and post-Islamic literature and time, so uh, I feel it important to add this slide uh, that is uh, related with the Arab invasion and the Muslim conquest of Persia. So, uh, Arab invasion uh, that led to the fall of uh, Sasanian Empire and Sasanian era is one of uh, one of the most influential period in Persian uh, literature and Persian time. So, uh, the reason is that it it is marked as the third rise of great Persian Empire and the predecessors of Achaemenid. So, um, with the fall of Sasanian Empire, the eventual decline of old practicing religion, that is Zoroastrianism religion, and I have uh, given you the introduction of Zoroastrianism uh, religion, uh, that is the teaching that is based on the teaching of Prophet Zoroaster. So, the internal political situation um, was quickly deteriorating and the empire was no longer uh, centralized. And uh, the Zanian empire had exhausted its uh, human and material resources after decades of warfare against Byzantine Empire. So, uh, Arab Muslims first attack Razanid territory in 633 when General Khalid bin Walid invaded Mesopotamia. And the second invasion began in 636 under Saad bin Abi Waqas that led to permanent end of Sasanian control. And then Khalifa Umar ordered full invasion of Sasanian Empire in 642, which led to complete conquest of Sasanians around 651. And here I have shared a link um, that is a, a, a short video on YouTube that is based on Muslim conquest of Persia and Arab invasion. And I suggest you to watch that video. As I have told you about a Samanid or Samanian period, that it is very important in literature. So um, here I want to discuss a brief history of Samanid Empire or the Samanid state that was founded by four brothers, Nu, Ahmed, Yahya and Ilyas and each of them ruled their own territory under Abbasid suzerainty. And uh, in 1892, Ismail Samani united these four brothers and their territories under one rule. This effectively putting an end of the feudal system and it became independent of Abbasid authority. So this is the brief history of Samanid Empire or Samanid state that was basically a Sunni Iranian empire from 892 to 999. And it also... Uh, uh, it, it is the part of Persian Renaissance or the Iranian Intermezzo. Uh, so, uh, uh, it is basically uh, the creation of uh, Persianate culture. Persianate is basically Persian uh, society and it created Persianate culture that is based on Persian language, Persian culture, Persian uh, literature, Persian art and identity. So, and uh, uh, we can see this identity brought Iranian speech and tradition into the fold of Islamic world. And that would later lead to the formation of Turco-Persian culture. Uh, in 9th and 
uh, 10th century a distinctive culture uh, arose that was based on uh, that islamic world so uh, the other uh, specification the other uh, qualities of that period samanid uh, period or empire is that it promoted art and give rise to the advancement of science and uh, literature so a samanid are uh, basically uh, the the that brought revival of persian language and persian culture and they considered themselves to be the descendant of sasanian empire um, and uh, there is a famous edict that samanid authorities declared that here in this region the language is persian and the kings of this realm are persian kings so this is uh, this is it for samanid empire and uh, uh, i hope uh, you have uh, understood the basic idea that uh, this uh, this empire is the part of persian renaissance and the work that uh, has produced during that period is muqaddama shahnama abu mansuri and uh, this period is important as far as persian uh, literature is concerned uh, persian language and its culture so this period is very important persian culture culture uh, is basically the manifestation of human intellect culture is our values norms tradition behavior our religion our philosophy our ideology our art culture each and everything uh, so uh, it it depicts uh, our our values our ideology that what we basically are so persian literature beyond the gate of time uh, there lies a civilization of 1000 years of celebrated heritage before alexander the great or roman empire the persian empire existed as one of the most powerful and complex empires of ancient world um it has been truly called a cradle of civilization a cradle of civilization means uh, that a uh, persian empire is the name given to series of dynasties centered in modern day iran that spanned several centuries of of a time period like 6th uh, 6th century B, uh, before christ bc to uh, 20th century ad and it has been called a tolerant world of empire uh, in the next slide uh, i'll discuss it in detail but a tolerant world empire means the first empire under cyrus the great the world's first superpower it united under one government like three important states of early human civilization in ancient world mesopotamia egypt and the nile valleys and the india's indus valley and uh, in the next slide i'll discuss uh, the most important and famous empire that is the basic of persian culture so um, it has been called a uh, uh, persian culture has been called a, a crossroad civilization Uh, like uh, persians were the first people to establish regular routes of communication between three continents like africa asia and europe and they built many new roads and developed the world's first postal service and persian culture is a world of artistic forms and shapes and in the next slide i'll discuss the art or uh, and the culture of persia uh, and um, um, and um, the one thing which uh, i want to discuss uh, is that uh, persian literature has influenced cultures like um, italy macedonia greece russia the arabian uh, peninsula and the parts 
of Asia as well. In this slide, I'm going to discuss a very important and significant art of Persian literature. As uh, we know uh, up till now that Persian art has one of the richest art heritage in the world history and the art of ancient Persia include architecture, painting, weaving, portrait, calligraphy, metalworking and sculpture from the early kingdom of Iran in southwest Asia. So um, here I just want to discuss calligraphy that is the art of forming beautiful symbols with letters by using a set of skills and techniques for positioning and inscribing words so they are in harmony. And if we talk about the styles of calligraphy, then the first, uh, the significant style of calligraphy is nastalik. That is known as Bride of Calligraphy Scripts. And Mir Ali Tabizi was the famous, distinguished, competent Iranian calligrapher of 14th century. And he combined two major scripts of his time, Nas and Talik. And he created Nastalik style. In this slide, I'm going to discuss Persian miniature. Miniature is another form of art and uh, uh, basically the Persian miniature is richly detailed miniature painting which depicts uh, uh, religious and uh, mythological themes as you can see uh, on the slide, the picture on the slide, then you can easily understand what is miniature. So the art of miniature painting in Persia flourished from 13th century uh, to 16th century and it continues till today. The most important function of miniature is to uh, illustrate and uh, it, uh, it gives a visual image to the literary plot and making it more enjoyable and easier to understand. And uh, there are several contemporary artists that are producing notable Persian miniatures uh, for example, um, Behzad is the most famous Persian miniature and uh, another uh, is, uh, is, is, is the uh, today's, in the modern times, Muhammad Farshan is the world renowned master of Persian painting and miniature and uh, uh, Farshan has played a decisive role in introducing Iranian art to the international art scene. Students, as you know that Persian art and culture is one of the richest art heritage in the world history. So here are some other form, uh, forms of art in Persian culture and you can read it by your own. So uh, you can have the better idea about Persian art and its culture. In this slide, again, I'm going to discuss a little bit about Persian art and culture. Uh, basically, the Persian tile art uh, in architecture, the beautiful glazed bricks that is symbol of Islamic history, if it goes back to prehistoric period, then um, the, the glazed bricks are the symbol of Islamic history and it has an important position among various decorative arts in architecture like uh, the stone uh, carving, the brickwork, the stucco and the tile panels. These are some uh, some of the types of um, that uh, glazed brick or the ar architecture and uh, they were used to decorate monuments uh, from early ages in Iran or in Persia. And second one is the Persian rugs. Uh, Persia is basically the master of its own kind and the chief producer of uh, Persian carpets, tapestries, rugs and uh, the mats that are used for prayers. And it is most notable Persian artwork that considered to be finest in its own category. The colorful displays and designs are taken from cover books. 
so uh, the, the beautiful cover books uh, the designs of cover books um, are seen on that type of uh, work and persian weaving that is flourished in second half of 15th century so uh, this is little bit about persian art and culture so thank you very much this is it for persian art and culture and its philosophy history pre islamic and post islamic persian culture and a literature a little bit about literature and their religious beliefs but uh, in the next uh, part inshallah we are going to cover persian literature as far as uh, different genres are concerned um, like uh, the poetry or uh, the literary criticism the folk lores and 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 many more so uh, in the next uh, lecture we will cover all the remaining points inshallah